Hey everybody, last video for the chapter eight review. And for this one, I got two problems and we have to find the area of these composite figures. So let me grab a highlighter here. Let's look at problem 22. So the first thing to notice or to, is that I have several different um, figures that make up this composite figure. I have this square, right? So I got a square here. So I got to find the area of that. Um, let me pick another color. I have this parallelogram, and I need to find the area of the parallelogram. All right. Um, I also have a rectangle, which I need to find the area of this rectangle. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. Um, so let's look at each one of these pieces one at a time. So basically the area of my composite figure will be the area of the square, and each side is two inches, plus the area of this parallelogram, which has a base of five inches, and a height of three inches plus the area of this rectangle, which has a length of five inches and a width of two inches. All right, so how do we do this? The formula for the area of a square is I take the, each side or one side of the square, not each side. One side of the square, and I square it, plus the area of a parallelogram, which is the base times the height, plus the area of a rectangle, which is the length times the width. All right, so I have the side length. So this is two squared plus five times three plus five times two. And I just worked that out, keep working it. And what do I get? Let me move my screen up a little. I get four plus 15 plus 10. And then so the area of this composite figure is 29 inches. Remember, area is always square. All right, so we got that one. Let's uh, move on to the second one. So for the second one, let's look at this. I have this semicircle right here. I need to find the area of this. And the area of this semicircle. And these two semicircles are identical to each other. So really, I just need to find the area of a circle. The area of a circle that has this diameter, which is five feet. So that will be the diameter of the circle that I need to find the area. So diameter is five feet. And this is my yellow circle. Okay. And what's left? I have this triangle, okay? Um, and this triangle has a base of six feet and a height of four feet. So I also have this uh, triangle. Let's see if I can draw a triangle um, like this. And then this line comes down, and that's a right angle. And so, um, this is the height, and the height is four feet, and my base is six feet. So to, fit, to find the area of this composite figure, area is going to equal the area of this circle, which is pi times radius squared, plus the area of this triangle. So I take the base, multiply it by the height, 
divide by 2. All right, so let's just plug all these numbers in. Um, so I have 3.14 times the radius. Well, the diameter is 5 feet, so the radius is half of that. So it has to be 2.5 feet. So this would be 2.5 feet squared. Looks like I want to move my page over a little bit. Um, plus the base of the triangle is six feet. So six times four divided by two. All right, and I can cancel with the six and the two. So really that's three. And so let's see, um, 2.5 squared, um, times 3.14, uh, let's see, what do I get? I get um, 19.625, and this would be feet squared. This is also feet squared. And then over here, I just have 3 times 4, which is 12. So that's my area. And to get my final answer, I add those two numbers together, and I get a grand total of 31.625 feet squared. So hopefully that's what you got too. All right, so this is the fifth video um, for the chapter review. Um, make sure you guys put some time in this week and study for that test. All right, and good luck, and I will see you soon in Zoom. All right, it's Mr. Odom, I'm out.